Hi everyone, this is the third part of uh, module. So coming back to the SOAP plan for pharmacies, we have done the assessment of drug use based on the questions that we ask ourselves to identify any drug related problem or uh, pharmaceutical care issues, DRPs and to avoid any potential problems and not just the therapeutic plan we also need to plan for the follow-up evaluation of the patient so follow-up evaluation is the uh, clinical evaluation of how effective the care plan and the associated drug therapies have been in achieving the goals for your patient's condition now you may need to ask whether you need to monitor or you need to do a follow-up evaluation for all patients or you can just select for a few patients with uh, do you consider that need monitoring the most so three main goals of pharmacy intervention is to identify all actual or potential problems to alleviate the actual problem and to avoid any potential problems so these are the questions to ask who that needs uh, the monitoring the most what is the patient specific uh, goal of therapy or endpoint which monitoring parameters uh, should be used and how to measure the patient's outcome so in selecting patients for drug therapy monitoring it depends on several factors and it's also depending on your practice side uh, other factors that you may want to consider uh, is the age in which geriatric patients are usually a group of patients that requires a more frequent monitoring or follow-up evaluation because of their potential risk and uh, side effects to the medication second is if your patient have any history of ADR or uh, drug allergies in your medication use uh, review these patients might need to be uh, evaluated or monitored for the current uh, therapies. So any particular disease state uh, like hypertension, COPD or diabetes uh, which requires more uh, frequent monitoring and multiple prescription medications. For example, patients with multiple diseases, they might have uh, multiple prescription medications as well. So they are uh, prone to have um, many issues like non-compliance or risk of drug interaction or risk of uh, side effects and also non-adherence itself if you so if you suspect that your patient is having this problem non-adherence or not uh, compliance or if the medication regimen is complex in which you expect that there, there is a risk of non-adherence then you need to monitor more frequently so defining specific goals or therapy uh, or the endpoint so you need to know what are the desirable and undesirable outcomes from the therapy so that you can expect what to monitor. So patient specific factors might also affect what you want to measure uh, as a goal of therapy or the endpoint. A drug characteristics itself and also efficacy and toxicity of the, of the drug. So which parameter that, or which testing that you need to do during the follow-up uh, or monitoring so it depends on the patient uh, specific needs so it depends on the medication that the patient is taking any medical concurrent medical illness that the patient is having and also you look at the progress or severity of the disease itself in which de which would determine what parameter to use cost as well we need to uh, we need to evaluate whether uh, such testing is really required for the patient if it is uh, more expensive accessibility whether the patient have access to the so whether we can have a whether we can access the uh, facilities or the setting or the clinical setting that have uh, such testing practicality uh, if practicality whether it's uh, practical for the patients to come for example if the testing requires uh, a blood taking for two times uh, in a day so whether whether it is going to be practical for your patient and also risk to the patient we do not want to uh, expose or uh, impose more risk to the patient if we do such uh, any uh, testing 
So how often to monitor? So this also require this also depends on the specific need for the patient and also the detail of the therapy itself. What is the regimen? What is the uh, the expect? When is the expected uh, outcome that we can see from the drug therapy? The cost and practicality of monitoring probably less uh, frequent for a test that that are more expensive or less practical to be uh, to be conducted. Now we come to the uh, potential patient's outcome. So how do we measure patient uh, outcome during the follow-up evaluation or the monitoring? So there are eight uh, possible patient outcomes that we can report at the end of our uh, drug therapy assessment. is either resolved in which um, the goals are achieved and the therapy is completed. So it is more applicable in... Uh, non-chronic um, medical Ill, uh, problem like uh, like infection or uh, minor ailments next is stable in in which the goal has been achieved and the patient will continue with the same therapy so it is more applicable for chronic uh, disease patients in which they need to continue the uh, therapy next is the improved outcome in which progress is being made uh, and the patient will continue with the same therapy. So it needs more time for us to evaluate further whether the patient is going to resolve or in a stable condition. Next is partially improved in which progress is being made but with minor adjustment to improve the treatment. Next is unimproved in which no progress is evident yet. Uh, and the patient is continued with the same therapy. For example, in uh, patients with uh, in a fragile state in which the drug therapy is not planned to be uh, aggressively adjusted, so the patient can be continued with the same therapy even though there is no uh, progress evident. But the monitoring is still very, uh, very much needed in this patient. Worsen is when there is a decl declining in health and the therapy needs to be adjusted. Failed is when goals not achieved and we need to initiate new therapy for the patient. And expired is when the patient died despite appropriate drug therapy uh, management. The patient might die because of other reasons as well. So that's all for the drug-related problems uh, module. So in this module, we have learned several types of drug-related problems. And these drug-related problems are being evaluated during the uh, assessment process in the SOAP plan. And following the identification of the DRPs, we need to provide any recommendation or drug therapy plan for the patient to improve the drug therapy and to uh, alleviate or prevent any drug-related problems. And later on, we continue with the follow-up evaluation uh, for the patient and we need to consider who to monitor, uh, which parameter, how frequent, and what is the uh, possible outcome that the patient can have. So that wraps the whole SOAP process in drug therapy management of a clinical pharmacist. Thank you very much.